Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to take a look at how to get the old volume control from Windows 7 back in Windows 10. You're currently looking at this, and you're probably saying to yourself, why? And as geeks, we say, why not? It's a fun little retro tweak that requires editing your registry. And to do so, we will press the Windows key plus R. That brings up the run dialog. And type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Up comes regedit. And we're going to want to navigate here. Just pause if I go a little too fast. We're going to want to navigate down here to H key local machine by expanding it at the arrow. Software. Keep expanding. We're looking for Microsoft. We're looking for Windows NT after that. Way down here. And current version. Oops. And when we get to current version, click on it so that you can actually see what's going on here. What we're looking for in this folder under current version is to see if you have a key that is called MTC UVC. You probably don't have it. As you see, I don't, H-I-A-P, there's no M's. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create that key. Right click, new, and we wanna click on key. Name that key exactly what we just said, MTC, UVC, and save it. Bring it up somewhere where you can save it. And now we're going to want to type in something a little different under new, D word 32 bit value. We're gonna to wanna to name it, enable MTC, UVC. I'm not sure how important these caps are, but being the registry they might be so make sure you capitalize the E M and U just in case because that does work so we want to click that now we want to right click on it and just verify by clicking modify that the value data is zero hit cancel if it is and there it is there is your new old school Windows 7 volume control I don't know why I find stuff like this so much fun now there's two ways to get rid of it. You could have backed up your registry and restore it, or because you know you created this key and you didn't have the key, click the delete button or right click and click delete and it's gone. Ta-da, neat, right? Now, I should have started with this, but if you're all set and you're used to the user registry, you can click subscribe and you can leave now. Otherwise, I just wanna show you briefly because we're not running real long on the video that you can back this up if you're afraid to play with your registry by coming to file, export, and name it something that has something to do with what you're doing. For example, we know Windows, um, let's say Windows 7 volume control. Whoops. Yeah, look real good typing. And either hit enter or save. Depending on the size of your registry, as you can see, the wheel is spinning. Don't worry about not responding, it'll come back. It's just a lot of registries are big and it takes a while, so there it goes. So where'd we save that to? I wasn't paying any attention, so that's the way I roll. There it is. So there's two ways you can restore your registry. Now, if you did this hack, it, you can't get rid of it, or you screwed something up. A little harder way to do it would be file, import, and you click on that and you click on open. Wait patiently, the slower your computer, the more bogged down it is, the longer it will take. Don't worry about it, just be patient. And the other way to do it, as you probably guessed at this point by watching what we were doing is, you can go to the actual reg file. That's okay. We can do it from safe mode if you get that message. So start, shut down, hold the F8 key down, go into safe mode and restore your registry if you get errors because something was open that was in the way, I just don't know what. So again, we can do it this way and you can run run it by double clicking and as you can see it really not going to do anything different than what you saw before so there's nothing on the screen so let's just chill out here and wait and see what it does and you should get some sort of message probably similar to the one we had but regardless that will uh, restore your registry one way or the other again go to safe mode if there's a problem so this is a really really easy registry tweak there it is again so something's open which is why we want to do safe mode um, again, as, as registry tweak goes, if you've been tempted to go play around with the registry, and it's kind of a fun little way to play with the registry. It's safer than a lot of other things we post. So 
go ahead give it a shot if you made it all the way to the end you might as well click subscribe because we could use the subscribers who couldn't and as always we thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the next video